So in this video, I want to show you how to use Desmos to restrict the domain of a function as you are graphing it. So let's use f of x equals to sine of x. So this is the f of x equals to sine of x. And as you can see, the wave of that sine of x keep going and going and going, okay? If we want to restrict the domain of this sine of x, okay, you can just put a squiggly bracket in front of that sine of x. Then let's say I want to restrict the domain from uh, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, okay? If I want to restrict that domain from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, all I just need to type here, I will just type negative pi over 2. So if you just say pi, it becomes pi. Negative pi divided by 2, okay, is less than or equals to x, okay, which is, which is less than or equal to pi. You can either type, uh, click this pi, or you can just type pi. So it will, it will give you the same thing, pi over 2. Okay, so that is the restricted domain in this case. So you can see that now the sign has cut off. So we, we now have negative pi over 2 till pi over 2. And you remember that pi is 3.14. So that's why you have this one going from negative 1.57 to 1.557. Okay, so this is how to restrict the domain of a function. Okay, so let's do another example. So let's say that my f of x equals to, let's say s minus 2, okay, raised to the power of 2, okay? So this is definitely a quadratic function, okay? And the vertex is as 2 comma 0. So let's say I want to restrict the domain of this and I want to take the left side. I can just say, okay, x less than or equals to 2, okay? You can see now that this cuts off the right half of it because by putting this, I'm telling Desmos that I only want the left half of this function. Okay, so this is how to restrict the domain. Put your restriction in the squiggly bracket. That would automatically graph what you need for you. Okay. So if you want to do one more example again, we can just do for the cosine. If I say cosine of x, Okay, so let's say I want to restrict this from 0 to pi. So we can just say we want to restrict this from 0 less than or equals to x, which is less than or equals to pi. Okay, so you see now we have this, this, um, this restricted cosine. 